You're watching Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on VeroBuzzTV.com. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm Marsha Littlejohn, and I don't know if you feel about critters the way I do, but I absolutely adore them. And I can tell you that even with the ELC, when you go up there and you can put your hand in the touch tank and maybe even see little critters there, but we have a critter haven. And I can tell you it is something else. We have just discovered it because we did a walk around with Jeff Vogel, went out and did a walk around after you had that tremendous fire out there that was so crushing. So let me welcome Gary Brady. You are the director of Critter Haven. Gary, it is wonderful to see you. Oh, it's my honor to be with you. Do you know this is so wonderful though because I know in learning so much about the critters that you had, what was it that you said to me as you sat down just now? Well, we have uh, new paddocks out in the back expanded and uh, we went, ran underground water lines about 1,500 feet and we have the llamas, the emus, the African uh, goats out there and the pot belly pigs from Vietnam. And one of them was down in a holler, and we couldn't see her this morning. At one of the emus. One of the emus, and she was laying down. So we took different carts, and we went different ways, and all of a sudden, she popped up, <laughs> and she was still in the enclosure. Oh, my golly. Yeah. But you were scared, because when he sat down, he says to me, well, we had a little scare this morning. We thought we'd lost an emu, and I said, I beg your pardon? And, <laughs> and then you told the story, but that is what goes on every single oh, moment, every, isn't it? Every moment. I mean... Everyone has to be fed, taken care of, yeah. uh, building sterilized, uh, produce brought in and, and uh, trucks coming in with food, but you never know from minute to minute. Sure, you're What's, dealing with animals, with yeah, critters. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's what I want you to do though, Gary, if you will, as director of Critter Haven. I know that there are many people just like I that had no idea that we had a Critter Haven. We have no idea what it's all about other than the fact that you've just told us there are all these wonderful critters out there. So tell me the purpose, kind of the mission, and describe Critter Haven to us. Okay, Critter Haven is a sanctuary for abandoned and abused and unwanted exotic animals. My wife and I started this about 25 years ago, and we had it in our home, and every room was filled with animals. <laughs> And we'd be having dinner, and I'd say, "Do you have any idea what just ran between my legs?" <laughs> yeah. So, oh. uh, I think the turning point was I came home and I'd had a really bad day, and I sat in the tub with a beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel better. Yeah, it, it, it helps. <laughs> and I'm kind of zoning out, and all of a sudden I see this huge snake <gasps> coming up over the side of the tub and in the water with me. Oh my golly! So, um, being the man of the house, king of my castle. King of your castle. Uh, the man does what the man does. I go, hey, Bev, get in here and get this animal out of here. <laughs> oh, of course. So I'm so glad you're honest about that. Oh, my golly. What kind of a snake was it? Uh, I think it was a ball python. Oh, my golly. But he was one of the critters that you had tried to save? Yeah. So, you know, we had an evening and we... Since 1951, Globe Life and Accident Insurance Company has been providing families with life insurance protection. One dollar covers the first month of coverage, whether you choose from $5,000 up to $100,000 of coverage. First day coverage means no waiting periods. Easy to buy, no medical exam, no risk 30 day money back guarantee. Up to $150,000 of accidental death coverage can be added to your policy. Globe Life makes buying life insurance easy. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfork. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just Ooh, love it. Good. Tell a friend. Yeah. We love y'all! Advertise your business on Buzz TV. Email buzztvnetwork at gmail.com or call 772-777-1382. Well, welcome back, everyone, to another segment here on Buzz TV, and we're talking about Critter Haven. Of course, you had the privilege of meeting my guest, Gary Brady, who's director of Critter Haven on the previous segment. But, Gary, I think your story, of course, how we really started this Critter Haven is just so phenomenal. But I think what I'd love to do is have you explain to our viewers and to me 
what exactly, what kind of animals now are on Critter Haven? We know there was a python in your bathtub. Yeah, well, we got uh, that. You got right. that one. Okay, but now what do, you, what, what do you literally have as critters out there? Okay, we, uh, as I, I mentioned earlier, the animals in the back paddock, and uh, we have a herpetarium where we also keep uh, exotic reptiles that uh, need a home. Now what do we call when you say exotic? Well, we have a black-throated monitor that's about, that my wife named Fluffy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just, just like she named one of the llamas Dolly. Oh, uh, my Dolly Llama, I love it. <laughs> th this guy is over six feet tall and for his size, uh, long, and for his size, he's probably more dangerous than an alligator or a crocodile. Wow. We have a big black uh, African rock python that it takes three of us, and it's even marked on the enclosure to even handle him. Uh, now these are all in cages though, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I had to take them out of the living room when they were messing yeah. on the carpeting. You <laughs> know. Out of the bathtub. <laughs> uh, but we are licensed and sanctioned by Fish and Wildlife and we are inspected uh, periodically. And Fabulous. Unbelievable. The last three times we didn't get one check mark on anything. Uh, all the buildings are sterilized every two days. It's food dishes are sterilized. Oh. Uh, exotic fish from all over the world. People have fish. We just got an uh, African cichlid in that was in a small tank and he's about this big so we had to set up a special oh. tank. Uh, we have somebody on staff, Ryan, just takes care of the fish. But now do people come to you or do they call you and say, Gary, I had this wild looking creature out here and what can I do about him and then you can have a, you can come and get him for Critter Haven? Uh, that, a lot of times, uh, animal control or we'll get a call from the police and uh, we had to do an emergency one out in Sebastian one night and mm. uh, there was a big lizard up in the tree and the guy was big lizard the, yeah he was afraid he'd eat his dog so oh my I'm gosh there, that big and my young guys kind of look after me and oh. they start to climb the tree and they go, we got to go oh. <laughs> so it goes way up the tree and it gets up there and he wrestles it it was just an iguana but they they can claw you up pretty oh bad. yes and then he looks down and he goes I'm so excited about this I'm afraid of heights. Like, oh my golly. Oh, now you tell me. Oh you know? my gosh, he's up there getting the iguana. <laughs> and fighting with down? that. Oh Did yeah, well I, oh, good. I came up and helped you. All right, but, now here's what I want to know though. Where are you located? And this is not one of those zoos where you can go out there and, and see it. Is there? I mean, no, is it open no, to the public? No, we're a sanctuary okay. and uh, zoos are designed for people. Uh huh. And sanctuaries are designed for the animals. Right. Uh, there's no restrooms or handicap accessible out there. Uh, we are there full time just for the animals. We're not there to show them, we're, we don't breed them, and we don't sell them. Oh boy. Uh, it's, and, just, it's just a rescue. You're yeah, just a rescue have, sanctuary. Uh, you know, a couple of rare Madagascar lemurs and ah. many, many animals. All right, we're going to take a little break once again and then come back and I want you to explain once again the animals that are there and then we have to know that it takes dollars and dimes, as we say so frequently, in funding, because all of these animals have to be fed. As you mentioned, you have to clean, you have a, some protocol that you have to Five follow through. Five veterinarians. So abs of, oh, veterinarians as well, too. So I know there are- Watch Chamber Buzz at 6 and 10 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays on HeroBuzzTV.com. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualify for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Well, we're wrapping up our, our discussion here with Gary Brady. He is, of course, as I mentioned, the director of Critter Haven. We're going to let you know exactly where they're located. But you may have read recently where they had this devastating fire. And I guess that was one of the beginnings, really, of getting this thing going, was uh, it not? Y yeah, it's, it was, you know, I lost everything I ever owned, yeah. classic cars and everything. Oh. But Critter Haven came on the map because of it. Yes, yeah. So it's kind There's of something good and something, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, maybe we're going to get a classic car you're, museum. You were mentioning, uh, yeah, we, we also have, along with the Madagascar brown lemurs, which are in the danger, we just got a kinkajou in from South America. Wow. Uh, 
which was living in a bird cage for four and a half years, and we, we had to, you know, that was the code red. We had to build in a sanctuary, I mean, a flight that was 12 feet by four feet, oh my by eight golly. feet. Well, we how did you find branches. out about him? Uh, the people called, and, hmm. and these are dangerous animals, and they could no longer handle it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's a nocturnal animal. Yeah, it looks like it was put together by a committee in Washington. It's got a little bare <laughs> face, big claws, big fangs. I love it. Uh, fangs, a tongue like a anteater, oh and a prehensile gosh. tail like a primate, but it's not a monkey. Oh, so what you're saying, though, Gary, is that if anyone out there has this weird animal or, or even a beautiful animal that is exotic that you simply cannot take care of anymore get in touch with you oh yes you have a staff you have people that work yeah. with you that help you've got of course as you mentioned you have veterinarians that are that are uh, really available to you too but it takes dollars and dimes how would somebody who is interested in helping fund Critter Haven how would they get in touch well, with you? one of the best ways right now is uh, gofundme.com GoFundMe.com. Uh, you can get a hold of us directly at 772-696-0248. Uh, and we're at 5300 17th Street Southwest. Uh, zip is 32968. Uh, another way is I invite you to look up on our Facebook. Oh. Our Facebook is fantastic. Um, there is an episode called Critter Haven Uncaged, which a gentleman is going to be on your show shortly. Uh, Jeff Zachary set up, and he will shoot segments of our staff and the animals they care for, and it's like almost a walk through. Oh, I think there's how about fabulous. a dozen of them. Yes. And you can go back and scan and see each one of them. Uh, and how do we get to that? Is that on Facebook? Facebook, Vero Beach, of Critter Haven? Critter Haven of Vero Beach. Critter Haven of Vero Beach. Yes. And just go on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And oh boy, oh, this is going to be so wonderful. Because it does, as we've said, when you've described some of the, what is the, what is the, I don't want to say the word weird, what is the uh, most exotic animal you have at Critter Haven? Probably the kinkachu. The kinkachu. Yeah, that's that, what I was describing. That was in it's a cage a, for four years? Yeah, it's, uh, we have infrared lights because it's a nocturnal animal. Oh. Uh, another, another thing we do is also there's birds that have been well taken care of. Yes. We have a lot of abused animals. And people have had them for like 40 years or 35 years. And they bring them out and uh, big macaws and we have to acclimate them. Oh, sure. And it's, it's so sad because they're moving to a retirement and they can't. Oh, the just like humans. Oh, yeah. oh, the humans are moving to a retirement. I thought maybe some of these animals were moving to a retirement. They, too. That's what they do at our place. They <laughs> okay, they want to okay. retire, but you keep very busy. Well, Gary Brady of Critter Haven, boy, it's been wonderful talking with you. Thanks it's so much been for my spending pleasure. time. And I hope you go to Facebook and look up Vero Critter, Critter Haven and find out all these yeah. wonderful Critter things. Critter Haven, Vero Beach. Critter Haven, Vero Beach. Thanks once again for being with us, and thanks to all of you for watching Buzz TV. This important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare Supplement Insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare Supplement Insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. The Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Well, hello everyone, and thanks for staying tuned and watching 
Vero Buzz TV. And I have to tell you, when you've seen some of the wonderful camera, camera work around in different places, it might have been this guy taking that camera work and taking, taking those pictures and shots because one of our guests said that you even went out there and took uh, shots of some of those exotic animals at Critter Haven. It's a way to go out and see Critter Haven without uh, being there. Yeah. You can tour every building and see all of his staff and they take you around and show you the animals up close. Well, Jeff Zachary, of course, you're not only a camera person, you certainly are a member of our Vero Beach Chamber of Commerce, and yes, indeed, you do look kind of like a pirate, but just before we even get into this wonderful festival that's coming up, I have to ask you, because you mentioned when you did some of the camera work on Vero Critter Haven or Critter Haven on the Facebook, you said those animals don't like people, so that that's one of the ways people can see it if they go on Facebook. Well, that's what he meant about a sanctuary. Yeah. We have a great humane society here, and they take domestics. We have the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary that takes native species. But if it's an exotic animal and caught maybe in transit or being oh, smuggled, yes. they usually euthanize them because yeah. no one has the permits to keep them. But Gary has all those permits except for pachyderms, elephants, or oh, sure, the biggies. Uh, and big cats are too expensive to even keep. Yeah. But other than that, He'll put them there, and that's their last stop home for oh, the rest boy. of their lives. Well, it is tremendous, and I'm so glad you were here to really bring that up, because when Gary and I were talking, Gary being the director of Critter Haven, it just, his stories are amazing, and some of those animals are wonderful, but for you to bring that to the point where it really is not a zoo, as you mentioned, it is a sanctuary, and that is why we don't get that opportunity unless you go on Facebook and see some of the pictures that you've taken. However... I don't know if you've taken a picture of many of the pirates around here. There are going to be some here quite shortly, <laughs> maybe another week or so. Absolutely. Well, I love it because my guest, Jeff Zachary, he is with the Vero Beach Chamber of Commerce, and of course they're putting on this spectacular festival, a pirate festival, and I love it because you said you've never had hair on your <laughs> Never. Never again, too. Maybe <laughs> maybe till next year. Oh, but I love it because really there's going to be kind of a contest, isn't there? There are going to be a lot of pirates around town, uh -huh. and uh, they'll be in, they'll be out in the daytime and nighttime, and they're coming up from all different places of Florida to come visit. Um, but it's the Vera Beach Pirate Festival. It's July 31st, August 1st, and August 2nd. It starts on that day for a particular reason, all and right. that's the whole reason we call this the Treasure Coast. Okay. Now I'm going to interrupt you because I would, I don't I had the fun time of talking with with Jeff. And I can tell you, if there is anyone in this world that knows about pirates, knows about treasure, it's this guy. Your stories are phenomenal. Have you always loved to really study pirates? I've always liked pirate lore, and uh -huh. I'm from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and oh, we okay. have a local pirate there and an inlet named after him called Merle's. And I've always loved pirate lore. So. Um, down here, uh, there's even more of it, and it's a there very interesting indeed. history here. Well, when we come back, we're going to take that little break and come back and have Jeff Zachary tell you about Yes Indeed, and wherever you are all over the world watching Buzz TV, we are talking about the Treasure Coast. And if you want to know why we are called the Treasure Coast, don't go away, because we will definitely be back with my guest, Jeff Zachary, and he is kind of like a pirate. We'll see you in just a minute. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all, from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. Freddie Wilfrick and Gregory Simpson invite you to Spotlight Indian River weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30. And we are back, of course, with our very distinguished pirate. And he's going to be a pirate because you said there are going to be so many pirates around here during that pirate festival. Jeff Zachary, and I want to know exactly why we are called the Treasure Coast. 300 years ago, July 31st, 1715, there was a plate fleet leaving Havana. They got in front of Vero Beach. A violent hurricane came and pushed all of those ships up on our beaches, broke them apart, destroyed them all through the night. They washed up all over our beach, and 1,100 people also washed up dead. Oh, it was yeah. a terrible, terrible maritime tragedy, and the Spanish tried to recover some of this. 
Not one ship got away, but 11 were crushed. And they were all carrying treasure? They treasure? were filled to the brim wow. with emeralds, jewels, silver, gold, all minted or mined from the South America. And it was all going to Spain. And they traveled in big strings like that for protection. Mm -hmm. And of course they had to travel far apart. They have no brakes. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> they strung all up and down the treasure coast and we they lost 11 out of the 12 ships. Oh golly. And the Spanish tried to come and salvage it, but word like that got around to every pirate on the globe and they tried to come here and pillage some of that from the Spanish as they were trying to recover it. And it went on for years, didn't it? I mean it goes yes, on it to today where people are out there and you say, if I'm not mistaken, you say really in some cases you can still find some little pieces out there. The, sil the silver coins are light enough to where they can get over our reefs. The gold mm -hmm. coins sort of, they're very heavy, yeah. so you have to go look for those. But the silver coins will turn black because of the oxidation, and you may just think it's a shell a and shell, walk yeah. right over it. I think according to Taffy Fisher, there's still about $2 billion worth of gold that nobody's found yet. Oh my golly. So now when you say, of course, with 1,200 individuals coming to and uh, uh, they lost their lives on this horrific, horrific loss of 11 of the 12 ships mm -hmm. in this fleet in 1715. And 1,200 1, lost their lives Th to kick off this pirate festival. What are we doing? Well, we want to commemorate that loss and since it did happen on our beaches. So at 2 o'clock on Friday, July 31st, 300 years from the day, we're going to have a paddle out, and it's going to be by Sharkbait Reynolds and the Vero Beach Lifeguard uh, Association. Sharkbait Rentals, oh. they rent the umbrellas and things on the beach. Oh, okay. And the Vero Beach Lifeguard Association are having a paddle out where they're going to push a reef out into the ocean with all the area surfers, and it's sort of just to let people know that this happened on our beach, and oh, we, yes. there'll probably be a minister there for a short prayer. And then, of course, then we start the pirates, because oh. that's when the pirates came, right after right after the wrecks. They came right because they knew the pirates from all over apparently really came because they knew that those that treasure had been lost right there. They didn't care about the people that were that were Not killed. They were there to get the treasure. And oh boy, I have to tell you, I just on the 20th of July had dinner over at the Ocean Grill. Looking out there and seeing that flag of the Breckenshire and then of course a rainbow had been there. I have a picture of that that one of the gals at the, at the Ocean Grill took. It is magnificent. I'm thinking this is kicking off this wonderful pirate festival on July the 31st. 31st. Okay, we're going to take a little break and then come back and really let you know what goes on after that kickoff of the, it's actually the Vero Beach Chamber of Advertise your business on Buzz TV. Email buzztvnetwork at gmail.com or call 772-777-1382. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfolk. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just love, love it. it. Tell a friend. We love y'all! Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage. But you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Well, we are back indeed. Jeff Zachary is here. He is with our Vero Beach Chamber of Commerce and he is chairman of the up and coming Vero Beach Pirate Festival. Lots of pirates. I love it because it's only going to get over when the last pirate wakes or goes to sleep. I think that's what, <laughs> what you were saying or Charlie was saying that that's how we end it. So we kick it off by taking a paddle off, our paddle off the beach. It's to Sexton go, Plaza. Okay, it's right. Sexton Plaza. Uh, and that's to commemorate, of course, the loss of those those twelve in our twelve hundred individuals in the shipwreck. But then what? How and then we come to Riverside Park, where the big three hundred year old oaks are, and it's neat because this happened three hundred years ago that we're commemorating, and we're doing it in a place where the trees were actually alive at that time. Oh my god! It's really golly. crazy. There are over a hundred vendors, artists, 
food, crafts, all pirate themed. The artist that painted the Captain Morgan label, the very famous Captain Morgan rum. The rum, yes. He's going to be here with some of his artwork and a Disney and some artist. Of his rum? Oh, no. There's going to be plenty. There will be <laughs> rum drinks there. Yes, okay. we can't have a pirate festival without some rum, as well as their friends at Southern Eagle Distributing or bringing oh, the great. beer and wine. Uh, but it'll be a lot of fun for kids. And if you have children, it's educational, but don't tell them. <laughs> Bring them down because there are reenactment camps and there are shows going on all day long on our stage with pirates singing and carrying on all day long. And they're all going to be dressed, I mean, really in pir pirate... There will be children's pirate, con co uh, pirate costume contest. Uh -huh. And if you go to the website, there's just a long list of events. What's the website? VeroBeachPirateFest.com All right. Now, from what I understand, I mean, that's th the whole event is over there, what, for three days? Mm -hmm. And it's at the, the Riverside Park with the 300 year old oaks and all these fabulous festivals. But then, what about the pub pillage? Well, you put the kids to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going on the pub pillage, and there's a uh, we'll start at, we'll have Riverside Cafe uh -huh. and Dockside Grill on oh Royal boy. Palm and the patio uptown. And what you'll do is have a treasure map, and you go to each place and they'll stamp your map. When you get your map stamped, we have a wrap-up party Sunday night at Riverside Cafe. Bring it in. We'll put your name into the hat and have a drawing, and we're going to draw out. Let me get this right. A two escudo gold doubloon oh, and it's worth about fifteen hundred dollars and it's already it mounted in 14 karat gold oh. and our friends at west bay trading company are providing that prize so you got to get all three of those places and you have all weekend to do it sure. just take some time and oh and have such a good time and i love it and that was when you said and i think it was charlie wilson who said and it's only over when the last pirate goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's Friday and Saturday and Sunday you can go to these places. And to get your map, um, you can go to any of those places and purchase one. It's $10, but you get lots of discounts, food, oh, yes. activities, drawings, and of course, and a drawing the for the Gold And where are the places, Bloom. once again? The Riverside, Riverside Cafe? Cafe, right under the Barber Bridge. Uh -huh. Dockside Grill on Royal Palm mm -hmm. Point. They're right on the water also, so if you have to go by boat or pirate ship. <laughs> And the patio, which is setting up a rum bar outside on their patio. Oh, how much fun. Lee Olson, oh boy, oh boy. That will be so much fun. Of course, he's over at Waldo's now, so we'll all be out there. And of course, on uh, the deck. Down. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Don't forget, it starts on July the July 31st, August 1st, August 2nd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Be there and be dressed as a pirate. Or what did Charlie call me? A wench. A wench. <laughs> yep, you can be dressed as a wench, too. <laughs> what is it now? I think so. Well, I'm saving that one. Oh, okay. That's what pi pirates say. Hope you've enjoyed this particular discussion about the Vero B. One dollar is all it takes to start up to $100,000 of life insurance protection. That's right. One dollar can provide up to $100,000 of much needed financial support for your remaining loved ones. Since 1951, Globe Life and Accident Insurance Company has been providing families with life insurance protection. One dollar covers the first month of coverage whether you choose from $5,000 up to $100,000 of coverage. Globe Life coverage offers these benefits. First day coverage means no waiting periods. Easy to buy, no medical exam. No risk 30 day money back guarantee. Up to $150,000 of accidental death coverage can be added to your policy. Globe Life makes buying life insurance easy. Maybe that's why millions of people have Globe Life coverage. Call the number on the screen now for complete information by return mail or to speak with one of our licensed representatives. Advertise your business on Buzz TV. Email buzztvnetwork at gmail.com or call 772-777-1382. Mm -hmm.